and we are back. Pokemon Pearl Hardcore Nuzlocke, the run continues here. We are in between the fourth and fifth gym looking for any more first encounters. And at the trophy garden here, we run into Rosalia and we swap into Gyarados, get a Dragon Rage down and just try to chip Rosalia down to size to make it more advantageous to catch it. And it's just given us a lot of issues with its Leech Seed and healing tactics, but we do end up catching it. So that is really nice. All right, then we're trying to trace down this Galactic Grunt that's plotting stuff outside of the Safari Zone, and our rival comes up once again out of nowhere. But again, his levels just are not keeping up with the gym leaders, so it's very easy to just basically sweep his team every time. And I do believe the final rival fight where he's kind of like puppy guarding the Elite Four is actually pretty decent. So I am looking forward to that one, but right here... Staraptor just absolutely decimates his entire team with the level cap being at 36. So this was no problem. Um, he really is just a very annoying character. Barry is just always running Mach 10, hair on fire, and um, he's just so bad. But we take care of him, no problem there. And I do believe we are on to the gym leader now. All right, we have arrived at the fifth gym here. We got three ghost types with Fantina. And the game plan is basically just Gyarados going for a potential sweep. And if we need help, I think we just pivot into the Staraptor. That's really the extent of it. We got some really strong Pokemon right now. And if I'm being honest, I think at least four of these six are potential Elite Four candidates. I'm feeling really good about this team. I have been shuffling around one or two to trade out for Pokemon that have HMs and stuff, but overall, this team has stayed pretty similar. It's just really strong, and they cover each other's weaknesses really well. And um, yeah, let's see them in action right here, right now, against Fantina and her gym. All right. So here we go. We got three ghost type Pokemon. Um, the Miss Magius, Miss Magius is definitely a little bit scary with its coverage moves, but I think we'll be just fine here. I think we'll be just fine. So Gyarados comes down, gets the Intimidate for free. And I do believe we're just going to go straight for the bite here. Super effective. Aqua Tail does a tad bit more damage, even though it's neutral but it has that chance of missing. So I'm good. Let's just lean into the bite and see what happens. We are faster. I'm really hoping we can just chunk Drift Limb down into Dragon Rage. The reason why I want it to be in range for Dragon Rage and not another bite is because Drift Limb has Aftermath. And if you kill it with a physical type move, it'll basically martyrdom and blow up on you and chunk you for a fourth of your health. Now, if you hit it with a special type move or something else, then I do not believe the Aftermath triggers. And we are outside of healing range, which is really nice. So Gyarados fades away with the Dragon Rage, and let's see. Whoa! Oh my gosh, that's right. Drift Blim's HP is insane. So it lives on one HP there and gets two Minimize off. That is just pretty filthy, actually. And I don't... I do have Aerial Ace, and that always lands so we might need to lean into that so keep that in mind now does fantina heal i would imagine so that is a monster hyper potion capitalizing on basically four times evasion that is pretty disgusting we do land the dragon rage but drift limbs hp set is just beautiful so i could swap looking at drift limbs moves here it only has gust ominous wind and astonish so the only thing that it can hit Mahiru with is Gust. So I think we're just going to swap right into our bird here and just capitalize on that. That was going to be the plan B, but I think we'll just swap plan A and B and then have Gyarados be the reserve. So perfect pivot there, dodging the um, ominous wind. And now I do believe we just let the aerial aces come down. They are only 90 power neutral, but our base attack is really nice. And... Um, you know, just because I'm nervous of chunking the Drift Blim to 1 HP again, let's go for the Fly since it does do a little bit more damage here. And it gets one more Minimize. Oh, I did blunder there because Fly is probably going to miss now. I completely forgot about the Minimize. Okay, we are just going to go... <laughs> We're just going to go back to the Aerial Ace. I think that's like at four, 4 evasion now, which is just insane. 
So we're going to go back to Aerial Ace. That's not going to miss. And if it doesn't kill, it doesn't kill. And it just does. All right. But we do get hurt with the aftermath. And there was really no way around that with all of those minimized. Really tough stuff there. Uh, Gengar comes down and... It's got Shadow Claw, Confuse Ray, Spite, and Poison Jab. And Poison Jab is actually Stab, unfortunately. So, we might be able to eat one Poison Jab, but if it crits, we lose Staraptor. And I am not willing to do that. So... I am thinking, I mean, we could go back to the Gyarados. I just don't want to run out of HP for the Miss Magius, Miss Magius. Um, so, you know what? I'm going to swap into our slug here. We're going to get Gastrodon out there and see if we can kind of just tank this out. We get a free swap with the Spite, though. That's pretty nice. So the only move that can hit is Surf since it has Levitate. This should be not very effective. Really nice stuff there, but we do get poisoned, unfortunately. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. And a beautiful setup here with the Surf. Just a nice two-shot. Now, if it goes for Shadow Claw and crits, I'm going to be uh, I'm gonna be something. But it's leaning heavily into the Poison Jab. I don't know why it's not going for the Shadow Claw. That would do so much more damage, but it's not my problem now. Gengar is gone. <laughs> So Gengar is cleared, and that leaves the ace, the final Pokemon here, the Floating Ghost, and the Mage comes down, and let's see here. So we're poisoned. It has Magical Leaf, which will hit for four times, and that is just insane. Um... So you know what? I What, what I think I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to swap into Torterra, Eat the Magical Leaf. That is not a Magical Leaf. That is a Shadow Ball, which does a good chunk of damage and gets the special defense. So I just wanted to get a Leech Seed for extended trades, basically. And it's probably going to go for Confuse Ray or Shadow Ball again. Um, so we are definitely dead to Critical. And honestly, with the special defense, I'm just a little bit nervous now. If it goes for a random side beam, we might lose the Staraptor. It's all special attacks, so Intimidate doesn't matter. Ooh, man, this thing is a little bit scary. I need the Gyarados to finish her off. But um, I'm going to get... I don't know if this is even worth it. I'm going to risk it all. No crit here. I want this Leech Seed down. So we can swap in and out and have these extended fights. It goes for the side beam. That's going to do a lot less than Shadow Ball. Thankfully, we should be fine here. We should be fine. No confusion. We do get uh, Orenberry, I believe. Okay. Get the Leech Seed. Really good stuff. I was going to swap into Staraptor, but I was very nervous it wasn't going to go for Shadow Ball. So that would have actually really hurt Staraptor. But we have the Leech Seed down, so it'll start chipping away at Miss Magius. I'm just going to call it the Mage. It's going to chip away at the mage here, and um, I think we're in a good position now. Staraptor is just really low, but Shadow Ball, its best move, can't hit. So I really like that, and I do... It, Magical Leaf is not very effective, and Psybeam... If Psybeam crits, can that kill? Let me check the special defense here. It's not the greatest. What is that compared to Torterra? Yeah, it's, it's a lot less. Um, we might just go straight into the Gyarados then, who has to eat the Shadow Balls, but, um, I'm risking it, dude. I don't know why I'm feeling so risky. I just want it to use Shadow Ball here or Confuse Ray, basically. Get the Intimidate. That's not going to do anything. And it goes for the Shadow Ball. We get a free swap and the Leech Seed gets us potentially out of range of a critical hit. Okay. So I am all over the place, but I am feeling pretty good about this. And now I'm going to go for a fly, and I do believe we get an extra Leech Seed on top, right? Because in this in-between turn, it should. And it's going for a not very effective Magical Leaf. What is Fantina thinking with these move choices? On one point, she's doing amazing. On the other, she's throwing the fight, and Mahiru just snipes from downtown with a stab fly. What a ridiculous fight. I don't think I played that well at all, but my Pokemon are just flexing right now. And they're like, bro, you're tired. It's okay. We got you. And that'll do it for the fifth gym badge. Wow. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, just flopping around this entire fight, but we made it through. Thankfully, we didn't lose anybody. A lot of interesting decisions there. I don't know. I'm very interested to watch that back and just be like, why did I do that? But anyways, as always, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you on the flip. Peace.